Hi again, here we are to talk about Xcode and our weather app in Xcode 7. And, um, you know, in the last video we set up our alert controller and we added a text field and now we've got our alert controller opening. And now let's talk about, um, talk about how the app is going to work, how it's going to get the weather information and then get the weather, you know, displayed on the screen. Um, we could write all the code for the weather, um, you know, the code that got the weather information off the internet, we could all write that in the same view controller here, but um, but that kind of leads to bad coding practice, you know, and and there's nothing new to learn with that. I mean, there's a few things to learn, but uh, but it doesn't advance the the quality of our code. Um, so what I'd like to do is I'd like to put the um, the weather um, service in its own class. And then that will give us the opportunity to learn some new things, like how to create our own custom class. And it'll give us the opportunity to look at code and how we can break it into smaller chunks that are easier to manage, you know. And by putting the, the weather class in its own, or creating a, the weather code and putting it in its own class will also allow us to use that class in other projects, right? So if we tied it all into this view controller, then you know, it would just be stuck inside this project and not really useful in other places. But if we put it in its own in its own class, then we could use that, you know, with another project if, if we have another project that needs the weather, right? So here's what we're going to do, okay? Um, we're going to just set this up here. It's not going to fully function yet. It's going to take another couple steps to get it fully functioning. But we're just going to get the sort of the mechanic of it working, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new class here. Okay, so I'm going to make a new iOS source Swift file. And I'll save this into my project here. And I'll name it weather service. Okay, so I'll call it weather service. And here's my new weather service right there. Okay. And this is going to be a class. So I'll type in class, and then I'll set the name to weather service. Now, the name here doesn't have to match the file name, but by convention, that's what, what we do, right? So we always make the name match the file name. It doesn't have to match, though, okay? So here's our weather service, and the weather service is going to have a function in it called getWeather. Okay, and the get weather function will receive a parameter called city, which will be a string. Okay, so in other words, you'll call get weather and you'll pass in the city that you want to get the weather for, right? And you know, in iOS form, we could say get weather for city, right? And then you could put the city name here if you like. Um, Maybe I'll just leave that as get weather for now, right? But get weather for this city, okay? And then inside here, what's going to happen is, you know, we're going to, you know, uh, make a request. We'll say request weather data, right? And then what's going to happen is we're going to wait, okay? And after the wait is over, what we want to do is we want to send the weather data back to the, you know, whoever asks for the weather. In our case, it's going to be view controller. So view controller is going to initiate this get weather by calling on it and passing the city name. And then when get weather is done getting the weather, it's going to return the weather back to view controller. Okay. So I'm going to leave this part out for now and we'll come back and get it, get to it later. Okay. Um, so how is this going to work? Well, let's see. So if we if we have this class here called Weather Service, and then we go to View Controller, and maybe we make a variable here. Actually, let's just make a let. I think is okay. And I'm going to write this as lowercase Weather Service. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll set it to weather service, uppercase, right? So that's an uppercase W. This one's a lowercase. So this is our variable containing an instance of the weather service class. And here we made an instance of it. And so now this view controller has a, you know, a copy of the weather service. And so if we wanted to, inside this open city alert right here, 
you know, here we get the city, the city name as text right here, what we could do is we could say weather, so actually we have to do self dot weather service dot, and then you can see that it, it prompts me with get weather and city name, right? And so I can type in the city name here, which would actually be this thing right here, text field, text, right? We can make this a little better. Maybe we want to do, um, maybe we want to make a let city name equal, you know, text field dot text. And then over here, we can just put in the city name, right? Maybe that reads a little better, right? So, we'll, and we could get rid of these print statements too. What am I missing here? Oh, I guess I got to have the thing here because it's optional. I forgot the exclamation point. Okay, so so anyway, so there's our um, there's our call to get weather, right? So we've made an instance of the weather class up here. We're storing it in our you know our variable instance variable belongs to this to this instance of view controller, right, called weather service. And then down here, we're, we're calling on weather service, and its one function is get weather, and we pass in the city name, right? So when we do that, back at weather service here, city will be equal to the city name. So, you know, if we wanted to check that, we could say print um, weather service city colon and then uh, we'll use this uh, little thing here and say city, okay? So there's our city name there. And if we, you know, if we test this, um, and we set the city, and we type in London, and then I click OK, you can see here it says weather service for city London. So we got all the way to here. So now let's imagine, let's move this, right? Let's imagine that we did all of these things. We requested the weather data, and then we have to wait because the weather data is out on the internet, and we're going to send a request, and then we have to wait for that data to return to us, and we have to load it. You know, and that takes time, right? So we don't want our program to hold up at that point and just stop until the, the data comes in. I mean, what if it never comes in, right? Our program would just freeze. So, you know, our program wants to continue going. And then when we receive the, the information from the service, then we want to send it back to view controller. Okay. And now here, this is where, this is the real thing we're going to talk about here, right? Getting these two classes to talk together. And you can see from inside weather service, there's no way to talk to view controller. Okay, so I don't have any reference to our view controller instance here. There's no way that I can I can talk to it. Like, what am I going to do? I can't really say view controller. I mean, I can, but that's really the class. It's not an instance of the class, right? So I can't call any of its methods, right? Um, so how are we going to do that? So here's what we're going to do, okay? We're going to give weather service a variable, okay, a var called delegate, okay? And we're going to set the type to a weather service delegate, okay? And actually, um, and then we'll set it as an optional too, okay? We haven't created this weather service delegate yet. We're going to have to create this type, okay? And what we're saying here is that this variable can be... Um, or the value in here can be any type that conforms to this type, weather service delegate. So if, it, if, we, you know, if the value we assign here is a weather service delegate, then you know, that's okay to put it in here. You know, it's not a string. It's not a number. It's not a view controller. It could be, maybe, though, maybe it could be, right? We'll see in a minute, right? Um, right, but the type here has to be weather service delegate. And then the question mark is saying that, you know, this might have a value or it might not have a value. So you can see, like, when, when we define the class, there's no value. Like, we haven't set it, right? So nowhere did we say delegate equals something, right? So the value hasn't been set yet, so we're going to set it to optional, and it might get set in the future, right? Okay? And then what we want to do down here is we can say, you know, um, self dot 
delegate dot, and then we can call methods on our delegate, right? And there's a little bit more involved there, but we'll, we'll come back to that, okay? So, uh, so how do we define this weather service delegate? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to create a protocol, okay? So I'll start typing protocol here, right? So that's not the one I want, the lowercase one. Protocol like this, right? And then the protocol that we want to define is weather service delegate. Okay? And then there's our protocol. Okay, so, so now this delegate has to be the delegate variable has to be assigned someone or something that is a weather service delegate, okay? By making it a protocol, it doesn't, it, like a protocol describes the features of something without saying that it is a certain thing, okay? We just say it has these features, okay? Right? And what I want is I want, um, I want the weather service delegate to implement a method called set weather, okay? So that way, when we get the weather, after we've waited and received the weather, we can call set weather on our delegate and assign the weather data to that element, okay? And it could be any element as long as it has that method, okay? So to do that, what we'll do is we'll define a function called set weather, okay? Right, so set weather. So notice I defined the function here, but I didn't say what it did, so I didn't include the code block. Okay, so when you define a protocol, you just say what the name of the method is and if any, um, you know, if it has any, any um, you know, parameters that it receives. You can also define variables. So you can say var, you know, count or something, right? So, you know, if, if, uh, if uh, you know, if something conforms to, the, to a protocol, it just has to implement the methods and the properties defined, you know, in the protocol. But that... The, the 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 delegate actually you know that can can define the 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 implementation of those properties and methods however it wants to to right so it doesn't have to um, like all it has to do is really just define the name here okay it just has to have a method with this name okay you'll we'll see that in a minute we should test it right okay so so I've got this protocol defined and I've said that my delegate will be one of these okay so you know, it'll be a weather service delegate. So what I want to do is I want to go back to view controller and I want view controller to be a weather service delegate. Okay. So to add a delegate protocol um, to, to this guy, what we're going to do is I'm going to put a comma here. And after this UI view controller, I'm going to type in weather service delegate. So what I'm saying here is that this view controller is a weather service delegate, okay? And I'm getting an error message right now because um, we do not conform to the weather service delegate protocol, right? So when I click on this, you can see view controller does not conform to weather service delegate. And the reason why is our view controller doesn't implement the method set weather, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to go back here and maybe I'll find a good empty space here and I'll, you know, ins I don't want to be inside one of these functions, but I just want to be inside the class, right? So I'll, I'll just find a space here and I'll say uh, mark uh, weather service delegate, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to type in function. <clears throat> and actually, I think you can do this. You can type in weather. <clears throat> actually, I guess I can't um, set. I guess it won't code hint that one for me. But So I'll just type it in. I'll say function set weather. Oh, there it goes, right? So I'll type in, <clears throat> pardon me, um, set weather, okay? So now that I've done that, you can see the error message goes away because, you know, we declared that we are a weather service delegate and we implemented the set weather method. And when I look at the weather service that defines the weather service delegate protocol, right, it says that anybody that is going to be a weather service delegate must have the set weather function, okay? Right? So, so how is that going to work now? Well, now if the delegate property, 
right? Um, is is available. We can say delegate dot set weather, and you can see like delegate is a weather service delegate, so it knows that it can have the set weather function. So you can see that the code hints here give me set weather as an option. Okay, and it puts the question mark here because um, we define delegate as an optional. So you know if it if it doesn't have a value, it'll be nil. So you know we might want to test it first. So we could say you know hey if um, delegate does not equal nil. You know, in that case, then we can, you know, check for, or we can call on the set weather method safely, okay? Or we can, you know, use the question mark there and call on set weather, okay? So anyway, so that's how it's going to work. So now we got to do one more thing to make this work, okay? Um, delegate needs to get a value somewhere. Okay, like we did say that view controller is a weather service delegate, but nowhere did we say that the delegate property of weather service is our view controller instance. So to do that, we're going to do one last step. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to go down to view did load, and inside the curly braces here, it has to be inside, right? What we're going to do is we're going to say, uh, we'll do it this way, self dot weather service. So that's our variable containing an instance of weather service. And then we'll say dot delegate equals self. Okay. So we're saying that, um, that our weather service instance, you know, we're going to assign its delegate property to self, which is this view controller. Okay, so now, you know, now that's that that's happened here. We've created an instance of weather service, assigned ourself as the delegate for weather service. When we get to weather service here, you know, if we call on get weather, then, um, you know, the delegate will have a value because we set it. And then we can say, okay, well, delegate, you know, we're going to call the set weather method, which we know that you will have. <coughs> Right, so we know you're going to have this, and if we go to view controller, you can see that um, that we do have set weather, right? And you can test this, like we can say print, um, you know, uh, view controller set weather, right? So I'll just put a print statement in here, and we'll know when we see this. Maybe we'll put some stars in there, right? Okay, that that we were calling the set weather method, and it doesn't get called in here; it gets called from weather service dot swift right so it gets called from from here right um, and then let's give it a test right so we'll save that we'll test it and we'll click set weather I'll type in a city name we'll call it um, I don't know how about uh, San Mateo and then we'll hit OK. And then you can see in here that we got the weather service, you know, San Mateo, right? So it printed this message. And then right after that, we called delegate.setWeather, which took us back to view controller, to the set weather method, where we printed the, the message, you know, view controller set weather. And then it printed this out here. Okay, so this this is called the delegate pattern, um, and this is a like a standard programming pattern that is in you know a lot of iOS stuff. Um, you know, table view is a big one that makes a lot of use out of this, and the text field delegate um, also makes use out of this. So uh, you know, it kind of pays to understand how this works, and then you can use it in your own projects, and it becomes really useful. Um, you know, uh, now we could take this weather service. Um, class when we add more code to it and we can move it into any project and use it in any project and any view controller or other class that wanted to work with the weather service could just conform to the weather service delegate by putting you know weather service delegate up here in the class definition and then defining the method set weather right and then we would know that you know it would always work right okay so thanks for watching and we'll continue this in the next video